I'm going to show you how to do question six. You do need to know how to do this with a calculator. But you also need to know how to do these in your head and we'll check them with your calculator. Okay? So have a look at this with me. A half plus a third, that's where we'll start. Okay? Now I want you to picture these guys are kind of like trying to have a conversation with each other. Right? But it doesn't work at the moment anyway because they've got no common ground. They've got nothing to talk about together. Okay? This guy's all about twos, this guy's all about threes. They don't have anything they can actually share in common. Okay? Now what we want is a common thread of conversation, a common denominator, right? So that'll let the two fractions work together. Okay? Which by the way, that's why when people can't talk about anything, they talk about the weather. Because it's the only thing that everyone has in common. They're like, hey, so how's, that, how's that weather? Hey, you know. It's what people talk about when they got nothing else in common, okay? We want a common denominator. Okay. Now, let me smooth this over a little bit. So what are you trying to do with that? I'm trying to add these two together. Okay? Now, the great thing about this is just like with the mixed fractions we were doing before, you can multiply these fractions by anything you like as long as you don't actually change them. This is what I mean. Okay. See how you've got a 2 here and a 3 here. Okay. So to make this in common with the 3, I'm going to multiply it by 3 over 3. Just stay with me. You're like, why would you do that? Yeah. It's going to give me a common denominator in a second. The same thing over here, I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. Okay. Where are you getting now, yes, where I am see, I getting it from? See, see. I'm choosing these numbers so you can see the common denominator is going to pop out in a second. Right? Now, when you multiply fractions, how does it work? You just go numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators. Okay. So here I'm going to get three times one, which is three, right? Over what? Six. Six. Three times two. Okay. And over here I'm going to get one times two, which is two, over six again. Right? And now these guys have a common denominator, so they can fit together. Three plus two, of course, is five, and there you go. Okay, so that's how you put them together. Question. Yes, 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 yes. That is exactly the question. Now, it's a good question because, like, yeah, why have I multiplied this? Why not just multiply this by three and multiply this by two? I'll tell you why. If I just multiply it, for instance, let's rewrite this question. It was a half plus a third, right? Now just suppose, I'm like, I want this to be a six. So I'll multiply that by three. And I want this to be a six as well. So I'll multiply by two. Ah, now here's what I've done. When I multiplied the bottom but not the top, it's not the same fraction anymore. Right? This is not a half any longer. It's, it's a six. And so is this, right? That's also a sixth. They're not a half and a third, which is what they started out as, okay? So the way I get away from that, that problem, is if you multiply the top and the bottom, you're not changing the fraction, right? If I multiply the top and the bottom here, it's still a third, and that's still a half. It's just I'm writing it differently. I'm writing it as three over six and two over six, okay? So that's why I multiply by three over three and two over two. Because multiply by 1, which doesn't change the number. Okay. Now, when you have a look at this, this is kind of pooling together a lot of the different skills we've been looking at in this little exercise, right? First, I'm going to have to convert these guys, right? 1 and 3 fifths. 1 and 3 fifths. What's that? Hmm. I think that's 5 fifths plus 3 fifths, isn't it? That 1 out the front is 5 fifths. Okay, so I'll just leave that guy there. What about this? Well, I've got two at the front. I think that's eight quarters, isn't it? That's two plus one quarter. There you go. Now I can put my fractions together. That gives me eight over five. That gives me nine over four. Okay, now what shall I multiply by to get a common denominator? Because I don't have four, one. Four, 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 five plus four, four plus five. Okay, four, okay. Four over four, four and, then five and five over five. five. Okay, nine. so now I'll get my numbers. You get nine, then you get eight wait, wait, what am I going to get? Nine. Really? No. Not so four nine. times eight is. 
Four times eight. Thirty-two. 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 Four times five. Four times five. Twenty. Twenty-five. 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 Thirty-two plus forty-five. Seventy-seven. Whoa. Yeah. And we're done. Okay. For bonus points, because it was given to us in mixed fractions, can we put it back in mixed fractions? Yeah. How we do it? How many times does twenty go in? Three. Three times. One. Seventeen. Right. So it's three. Yeah.